what is going on guys welcome back to another episode of leave vlogs today's a special day because we are finally completing the what do you want to call it? the body kit side skirts front splitter of my vehicle so today I received my package from extreme online store um, they had a new ZR1 front splitter I decided to take a chance and go with it this thing's pretty big it's a lot bigger than any other OEM splitter that you can get for the Corvette but uh, today we're gonna install it here it is right here so as you can see this thing's pretty pretty massive and then it comes with little winglets on the side so they go like that I think it's gonna add that final touch to my car that is definitely needed so no further ado let's get on with the vlog that should bring it First time at my channel this is my 2014 Corvette Stingray um, so far engine mod wise I got let's see American Racing headers X pipe AWE exhaust and AFE cold air intake and then I got side skirts done some vinyl wrapping on the mirrors the front uh, hood roof and then I just added you guys actually haven't seen this I actually added this off camera this black uh, Z51 wing, it's in carbon flash as well. Also have the Ventador tail lights, added those quite a while back. Oh, one last thing, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the C7's uh, Instagram. This is where you'll get the most up-to-date information about things like the front splitter before they hit YouTube or anything like that. So, yeah, it's right here, bad underscore C7. First things first, gotta raise this bad boy up. So let's go ahead and get my, my wheel blocks. Since I'm on a little incline right now, don't want to roll him back. A jack that's fully extended, it's a bad day. One right there. And one right there. That should be good. All right, so we got the car raised up. It is on jacks now, as you can see. Let me just go ahead and show you guys the hardware that comes with the uh, front splitter. So they do give you some 3M uh, double-sided tape, which is good. These little uh, screws right here are for the winglets, the black ones. Um, they do give you some pop rivets, and I do plan on using those. Just bought this rivet gun. And then you're gonna reuse. I wanna say these are, what are they? T15s? Yeah, my, my bottom has been scraping a lot. But anyway, these are T15s right here. So you're gonna take all these out, replace it with the front splitter, and then put all these back in, in the same spot. So, pretty, pretty simple job, nothing too crazy. Um, they give you a bunch of extra bolts, say if you have like uh, the special undercarriages and all that stuff that maybe like a Z06 or a Grand Sport may have. I have a, just a regular Z51, so I don't need a lot of that stuff that they uh, sent. But, yeah, should be a pretty easy, straightforward job probably take no more than 30 minutes at the most. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is utilize that 3M double-sided tape. Go ahead and place that all over this as much as I can just to create that good, you know, suction barrier right there. And then from there, we'll go ahead and add the screws and then pop rivets. All right, so now I have the 3M double-sided tape. One thing to note, this is how the tape came, kind of indented right here, so hopefully it works out. We'll see, um, but pretty much you're just gonna come over here, come on down there, come over here, and just kind of maneuver this 3M tape around all of these holes right here. However, yep, all the way in, around, hopefully I have enough here. Try not to get any air bubbles, if you do, just go back over and smooth it. So far, so good. stuff is pretty bendable so let's 
probably best to do it this way. When you peel off the other side, you can do it all in one pool versus cutting little pieces and stuff like that. So. Oh, I'm gonna hit that 360. Let's see. No, that's not gonna work. Cool. I think that's enough right there. Cool. Got my scissors. And we are gonna cut. Let's leave a little bit hanging off right here. Yeah, there's not really too much left. I mean, this is what's left. So, am I gonna use this? Probably not. So now that this is prepared and ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and remove, I wanna say these are T15s underneath here. Go ahead and remove all of these. I'm not sure how many there are. I don't really feel like counting them all for you, but just make sure you remove all of them that go along your front uh, bumper. All right, so real quick, along with the T15s that I've already taken out, you're also gonna take out this uh, seven millimeter right here. So this one you're gonna reuse. And the ones that are right here, I'm actually missing one on this side, but these ones right here, they're not gonna be used again, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out because it's serving no purpose right now anyway. I think we'll just create more of a barrier than needed on the end, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out. But this one right here, the corner one, this one you do reuse. All right, so now that we have all of our bolts removed from the underside of the car, it's time to go ahead and make a little soap and water concoction. Go underneath here, wipe this down so we have a nice, good, uh, clean surface for our double-sided tape. And then from there, we will be bolting everything on. All right, so I just did my soap and water scrub on the underside. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dry it off. That's a lot better, definitely. There we go. So that's probably as good as it's gonna get. Um, we're still doing the pop rivet, so I mean, this is just an added measure. But uh, I don't think the splitter is gonna be going anywhere. Okay, so my advice for adding this is definitely have some help to help uh, center it. And then uh, start with the seven millimeter screw on the corners, get both corners on, and then Go ahead and get your 3M tape prepared as well. Before you do the seven millimeter screws, go ahead and peel this back a little bit. Just enough so you can grab it and peel it off. Once it's, uh, once the seven millimeter screws are in there, that'll make your life 10 times easier. So just have that prepped and ready. That's probably enough right there. But yeah, start with seven mils on both corners. And then from there, go with your T15s on all these holes right here. And then after all that's in there secure, go pop rivets, boom, boom, boom. You don't have to do the pop rivets. I do recommend it though, if you don't have all the extra screws or anything like that, definitely do the pop rivets, but yep. So we're gonna go ahead and go seven millimeter right now. All right, so we got both our seven millimeter screws on both sides. Um, to keep it held up, we just got uh, some uh, Kool-Aid right here just to hold up the center part so there's not too much pressure on those ends. Um, I got my 3M tape strip uh, peeled back a little bit, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that back right now. So as you can see, look, bring it over here. As you can see right here, the 3M's ready to go. Let's just go ahead and peel it off. One small swoop like that. And I believe we're good, yeah. So, now once we press up on here, making sure everything's lined up, um, it's not gonna go anywhere. So, I'll be completely honest with you guys. Some of these holes don't line up with the factory ones. So, pretty much I got about five of them in in different areas. Um, it's pretty sturdy as it is right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the pop rivets and that will make it completely sturdy. But some of these, like see I'm missing right here, really the ones in the center, these two, this one, this one. I'm not sure where the last one is, probably somewhere over here. Yeah, this one right here. But we'll go ahead and do the pop rivets and uh, make it work. One thing to note that I really wasn't aware of because I've never used a pop rivet or rivets before is that you actually do need to drill into the bumper of your car 
in the holes that are already in the front lip. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna drill out all my holes and then pop rivets. I've already actually wasted one pop rivet because I thought that you could just shove it right in there, but uh, that's not the case. So let's go ahead and drill these holes out. All right, so now we've drilled out all of our holes and it is time to add the rest of the pop rivets. So we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, so time to add the winglets. Uh, pretty much you'll see R for the right side and then L for the left side. So just go ahead and put these on right here. It comes with some black uh, screws and then they go right into their pre drilled, uh, already washed side. So that's good to go. And then after that, this job will be complete. on there first one good to go good to go all right so it is officially complete and added on to the car everything looks pretty good looking pretty pretty good right here oh yeah definitely a fan this is this is dope the added extra flare the final part Adding all the sauce to the car right here. Okay, okay, okay. She needs a little wash right now, but uh, other than that, everything's looking good. We're gonna go ahead and lower her down, see how low we are to the ground, and hopefully we can get out of my driveway. If not, we have some problems. But that being said, let's go ahead and lower it right now. One thing to note, um, I do have some slip low that's gonna be coming pretty soon. Uh, it was supposed to actually show up yesterday, but it looks like it's running a little bit late because of everything that's going on. But uh, if, you, if you're unfamiliar with what slip low is, let's go ahead and Google it. It's S-L-I-P-L-O. Pretty much it is just like a guard between your splitter and the ground. So basically it just acts as an area so you don't scrape the bottom of your splitter. not too bad it's not too too low I think it looks real good uh, we'll do a driveway test right now see what happens <laughs> so let's go ahead and set you guys up over here
getting close, pretty close. We're not even at the lowest part yet. Let's keep it going. Yeah, it's not even at its lowest spot yet, and it's already pretty much about to scrape or scraping. So we're gonna go ahead and go back forward, get the wood out, and uh, go ahead and park her on the street for right now. Until my slip low comes, I um, really can't park in the driveway as of right now. All right, so the front splitter completely failed the driveway test. It did scrape a little bit underneath. So uh, I'll have to use some planks to get out until the slip low comes in. Um, but other than that, this thing looks pretty fucking amazing. Like how it uh, contrasts well with the side skirts. It sticks out pretty, pretty far out there. Very aggressive. Give you, give you guys a further look. Oh yeah, that's the angle right there. That is amazing. good looks good definitely a fan so thank you extreme online store for sending out that I'm not sponsored or paid for it so nothing crazy like that but yeah if this is your first time coming through to the channel thank you for showing up um, go ahead and like comment or subscribe that definitely helps out my channel a lot and lets me know that you guys want to see more Corvette content or content in general um, but until next time guys the vlogs out